What's up guys, Rexon34 back with another mail day and today we're going to be opening a few packages, some pretty cool stuff and some stuff that I don't know what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. The giveaway for this video, I'll be giving away these three cards we have in a Dolce Pudding Says Chocolate Mode, Salaman Great, All Mirage, and Elemental Hero Necro Shade. We have a little bit of a different setup today because I got new lights, the lighting should be better, but we had to switch the camera angle so now we're looking more down. And we're just going to see how it works. I'm going to be messing around with it a, a little bit. Give me some feedback on what you guys think. Do you guys want... I can't have a background like this anymore, unfortunately. So I might try and figure out a way to do that. But for now, I can't have a background. So we got to look straight down. But let's go ahead and get into the mail. All you got to do to enter that giveaway is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite piece of mail. Also, don't forget, if you want to send me something, check out the P.O. Box down below. You can send me whatever you want to the P.O. Box. And let's get into it. So we got... As an extra the other day, I got these stickers, so I figured let's open these up in this video as well. This should be pretty fun. 99 cent stickers from Tops. I don't think they're 99 cent anymore. I don't know even know if they're worth anything anymore, but we're about to find out what's in here. Seven stickers, I think. So, it's like a booster pack of stickers. We have Yugi. That's a good start. The Celtic Guardian. Beaver War, yeah, we got a blue one back there. Is that like a special one? Silver Fang, what's our rare gonna be? Blue Eyes White Dragon? Ooh, Bee Skull Dragon, that's pretty sick. We pulled that in the Metal Raiders First Edition box. Check that video out, that was awesome. Ooh, Dark Magician of Chaos and Summon Skull. Wow, that was a good pick. Or pack, I should say. Look at that, we got the Dark Magician, or the Magician of Black Chaos, sorry. The Bee Skull Dragon and the Summon Skull. This is a golder one, so that's pretty cool. So we got a pretty good pack there. We got Yugi as well. So that was that was pretty sweet. I don't really know. I guess I could use these as stickers and put them on something. But I kind of like them like this. So that's pretty cool. That's a good way to start. Next we have two packs that were sent to me by a guy on Twitter. He's a viewer. He didn't send a note or anything. So he just sent these two packs. He said these are really cool. So we're about to find out what these are. I really have no idea. Seal Collection DX is what he's called them. So, or at least that's what they say on the front. So let's see what's in here. I really have no idea what to expect. These are obviously not English, so we're gonna find out. There could be something really cool in here because when it's not English, it's usually really cool. Oh, is this more stickers? This almost seems like more stickers. It says seal collection, so maybe the seal collection is like stickers. Oh, so yeah, these are like the same thing except they're Japanese, so that's kind of funny that we have both of these. What in the world is that? <laughs> oh, there's the, uh, oh, what's she called? The uh, Medusa or something like that. What is this? I don't know what this is. You guys will have to let me know if you guys speak. Uh, I'm guessing this is Japanese. Oh, polymerization. I know that one. And what in the world? <laughs> what is that? Oh, what is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. 1800, 2000. I have no idea what that is, to be honest. So yeah, first pack. I'm not really sure what some of those are. But let's see if the second pack will give us anything, you know, that we know a little better. All right, let's check out the second pack. What could be inside? Let's go from the bottom again, or this time at least, because the top is a little difficult to open. So it's definitely Asian of some kind because their packs are not easy to open. Okay, there we go. Let's get those out. We have, I got a spoiler on the back, a lion with wings. Don't remember which one. I think that's a ritual monster. I could be wrong. Whoa, what's, these are sticking together. We have a, what is that? A bat? Hmm, not sure what bat that is. We have the, some zombie guy? Like, what is this? I'm not sure. I don't know these. What are these? Is that like the wicked worm? No, that's a wicked worm beast. I don't know. Ooh, beaver war. Yeah, we know that one. <laughs> And we got a piece of Exodia, the right arm of the Forbidden One. So I do know this one. I know this one. We got a right arm of the Forbidden One. That's pretty cool. The next thing we got was I ordered something off TCG Player. So the other day when I was opening Rhyme Style's package, he had gave me that PSA 7 Raigeki. So I was looking at prices. I was trying to find a price for it because there was no PSA 7 on eBay. So I just went to Near Mint on TCG Player. And I saw there was one listed. First edition Near Mint. Raigeki from LOB English like not uh, European not Australian so it came in today and we're gonna see what the condition is so we have a wavy Raigeki which is really nice to start with and the front looks absolutely awesome guys the front looks really good then you get to the back let's see I think when I saw this earlier there was like one scratch somewhere I think it was down here but I can't even find it anymore 
So I actually bought a near mint first edition LOB hollow card off of TCG player and it was actually near mint. I thought I saw a scratch earlier, but now I don't see it. So maybe there isn't a scratch. This card's in like great shape. That's so awesome. So I bought this, by the way, for $75. Only $75 for a first edition near mint super. The crazy thing is the guy had three feedback on TCG player. And it was 0%, three, no, not three feedback, three sales, 0% feedback. So I was like, there's no way this is going to work out. But I was like, $75 is an absolute steal. So I'm going to try it out. So I bought it and it actually came in in good shape. And not only that, it's wavy. So that is incredible. Raigeki looks really good and wavy. So that is extremely exciting. I never buy a TCG player. Last time I did, I bought a first edition Magic Jammer near mint. It was like moderate play at best. So I'm very pleasantly surprised with that. So let's go on to the final package we have here. This I picked up today. I actually opened it up to see if it was something I ordered, but it actually wasn't. It was from one of you guys. So we have a note. Once I saw that, I was like, okay, yeah, this is definitely from one of you guys. Let's just go ahead and pull everything out of here. We have a package of cards. We have something taped up, so that's pretty cool. Oh, he sent us card savers. What a legend. That is amazing. I asked for him in that one video, and he provided. So we're going to find out who he is in a second. Or she. I don't want to discount. It could be, could be a woman. I don't want to say that it's not. Even though only 2.4% of you guys are women or slash girls. So, yeah, so not very often. So let's see. We have a lot of things in here. Let's see what we have on the, the note. We have, Hey, Rooks. Thank you for keeping me entertained during this pandemic. I'm finally getting back into old school Yu-Gi-Oh! after many years. I was able to find an old fusion monster that you can hopefully throw in your goat deck. I also threw in some extra cards and packs as well. Hopefully some good pulls. Congrats on passing 40k and keep up the great videos. Happy holidays, Joe. So Joe was the mystery man. Thank you, Joe, for sending us these awesome things. So let's go through and see what exactly he sent. First of all, card savers, that is amazing. I really needed these. I actually did find some to buy, but you can never have too many card savers. It's beautiful. There was such a shortage of them during COVID um, that it's just very helpful to have those for submissions. All right, let's see what's in here. I'm not sure which one you're supposed to start with, so I'm just going to go with these cards. We have, oh, cool. We have Curse of Dragon. That's LOB, super rare. Then a trial, all the original trial artwork. Look at the blood in there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, the Madolce Hootke. Or should I say... A Chicolate. 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 So that's cool. We got the Pequeños. Wait, is there multiples in here, I'm guess guessing? We've got Pequeño, Larvae, Cocoon, Great Moth. Oh my, the whole evolution of Pequeño Moth. That's pretty powerful. That's the first time someone's ever sent the whole evolution. That's good. Then we have the Five God Dragon, also known as the Five Headed Dragon in English. Check that out. That is super cool. Japanese version. That's pretty sick. Five God Dragon. Okay. And now let's get into whatever is taped down here. Maybe this is the one to use in the fusion deck. Is that what he's talking about? Oh man, this is. The knife is not very sharp right now. What could it be? Oh. Oh, that looks nice. We have. Constellar Ptolemy M7 from Hidden Arsenal. Ooh, Ultimate Rare Dark Blade the Dragon Knight first edition. I think I did need one of these for the. I think I did need a first edition for the Goat deck, so that's gonna, definitely going to go in there. So thank you. That is incredible. That is super awesome. First edition Ultimate Rare. Those are not. Those aren't cheap either. Like twenty bucks. Then a uh, Petite Moth, another one. The Legendary. That can go in the go deck too. No, I'm just kidding. It's not going in the go deck, but it is goatee. All right, finally, we have the booster packs he sent. Let's see what packs he sent us to open up. We have, ooh, some cool stuff. We have Duelist Alliance, Flames of Destruction, Dimension of Chaos, ooh, the classic, Shining Victories, Secret Forces, Stark Saviors, Fusion Enforcers, Maximum Crisis, Breakers of Shadow. So what he did, he opened up a monster box. He pulled out the legacy packs and these were left because these are all the ones that are usually in there. Let's see, keep Dimension of Chaos for last, for sure. Um, Duelist Alliance is pretty cool, but we're going to start with it. You can pull a Ghost Rare. Never pulled this one. I've opened over 100 packs of this set. We opened an entire 100 pack opening. You can check that out up there. Let's see if we can pull an Ulti or a Ghost. That would be pretty crazy. Hippo Carnival. Ooh! The Chewin Light of the Yangzing. We got an Ultra Rare right off the bat. So it's not even guaranteed to get a Super in this set. So an Ultra Rare is two levels up from what you're guaranteed. So that's pretty awesome. Ultra rare. Now we have Flames of Destruction. You guys know what we can pull in here. Infinite Impermanence. The original. Here we go. Trickstar Nightshade. Mech Knight. 
D-grade Bluster, you are guaranteed a super in this set. So, Prototron. So, not much too exciting there. Next, we have the Shining Victories Booster Pack. You can pull... What is it? The uh, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. We pulled that before. One of the prettiest cards I've ever seen. Oh, it skipped it. All right. Amorphous Persona. That is still an Ultra, which is not guaranteed, which is awesome. So we have an Ultra. Two Ultras, actually. That's a good start. Secret Forces. This set contains um, all foils. So it's going to be Supers and a Secret, I believe. Oh, it's right at the front. Man, I hate when it does that. That always gets me. Ritual Cage. Yeah, I know to expect that, but for some reason I just don't remember. So Necros of Colossus. Colossalus? Colossalus? Secret Rare. Dark Saviors. This is also... Okay, wait. Is there going to be a secret at the front? I think there is. So we're just going to play it safe. We're going to not make the same mistake twice. Ray. I think that's a decent super rare. We got the Hornet Drones. Plague Spreader Zombie. That's cool. Oh, it was it was at the end. See, this is so confusing. The Raphael. Raphael. Champion for Hire. And Fandor, the Flying Fortress. Raphael. Sick. All right, nice. Secret rare. So now we have Fusion Enforcers. You can get some cool stuff in here, like the Duelist Pack, Yugi, Art, Poly. You can get... Oh, wait. We're just going to play it safe. What is the... Oh, there's another good card in here. Refusion. King of the Swamp. Edge M Chain. Predator Plant Chi uh, Chimera... Ref <laughs> Chimera Rafflesia? Is that what that says? That's crazy long. I think... Can't you get... An invocation out of that set? I think you can get invocation. I might be right. This one, you can definitely get Ash Blossom. I know that for sure. That is the big pull. I've, I've never pulled one, I don't think. Let's see if we can do it now. Pull one out of this set, at least. Phantom Knights. Supreme King Gate Infinity. Okay. Phantom Knights. Man, there's a lot of words in these booster packs. This is all I can tell you. Breakers of Shadow. The Bosch. Can we pull the Buster Blader? Destruction Swordsman. One of my favorite cards. There is the Swordsman Fusion. Good start. Despot 07. Buster Welve. So we did get some Buster Bladers. Jizikiru is a pretty good one, I think. So we're going to set that aside. And the final pack of this video. Thank you again, Joe, for sending these booster packs, as well as the Ultimate Rare. Thank you, all you guys. And if you want to send me something, check out the P.O. box down below. Here we go. Can we pull something in the last pack? So every Samurai Thief. Cosmo Wicked Witch. Oh, a Radiant. Okay. So it did get reprinted, but it's still worth like over a dollar. There's a Necro Slime. I think Necro Slime is now worth like nothing. It used to be worth a dollar. Now it's not. But Radiant is still worth a dollar, I think. So that's pretty good. So a nice rare pull. Let's go over what we got on our, you know, couple pulls. We got all these cards right here. So some of them were something. Some of them are not. I tried to make a decent pile. Some are rare. Some are not. But yeah, that was pretty cool. So thank you again, guys, for sitting in mail. That's a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos recently. We have some epic ones coming up in the new year. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>